I'm here to see if I can get rid of my headaches and uh, dental uh, pressure on my right side. How long has it been going on, the pressure? Um, recently a lot, but yeah. that's because I've had some dental work done and had some broken teeth. Sure. What about the headaches? How long has that been going on? I've had them my whole life. So do you remember the age of onset? Um, probably when I was, when my uh, permanent teeth were rolling in. That's, that's why I'm asking. Yeah. So six to 12, mm -hmm. somewhere in there. Um, and what happens when you have the headaches? Typically, where do they happen? They used to be here and right. then kind of go back to the back of my neck and, and it'd be so excruciating. Sometimes I would end up, you know, throwing up or bad. like a migraine, but it wasn't a migraine. So Kind of a weird thing. Have you uh, sought help from physicians about? Yes. I've had the, the MRIs. I've had like four MRIs just for my headaches alone and sure. never found anything conclusive. So they, what, what did they diagnose you with? They called a migraine? Or? Just no, because uh, I didn't see spots. My peripheral vision was never affected and right. they just would give me narcotics or whatever to mask the pain and... Like, let's say I were to hand you chewing gum. Can you chew the gum relatively normally or does your jaw get tired? My jaw's always gotten tired from chewing gum. In fact, I stopped doing it over the last couple of years. I'll just let it sit in my mouth trying to have not bad breath. Sure. Because chewing, I get, like, really sore. Um, are your teeth hypersensitive to cold? Yes. Pretty, not real bad, but enough to where um, I do drink with a straw. Uh, do you clench your teeth at night? Yes. Uh, do you grind it at night? I think I do, because I'll wake up with headaches often. Right? Mm -hmm. So in the morning when you wake up, does your job I feel really you? sore right in here, yeah. Did a dentist ever try to address this for you? Did no, you they never you? asked. They never asked, mm -hmm. yeah. So you've never had a splint made or anything like that? No. Okay. Right. I used to get headaches so bad, I would, I mean, it was debilitating. And as you've aged, it's gotten a little better? Yeah. It's gotten better, but I had all those fillings yanked out. I don't know, I think those might have been an issue, you know, the it's was probable. mercury. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they had old silver mercury mm -hmm. fillings in there. Mm -hmm. You had them removed, then it things got a little better. Yeah, tremendously better. Mm -hmm. When I palpate way back here, does that feel tender? Mm -hmm. Okay. When I go to this pterygoid muscle way back here, uh. that's worse, isn't mm -hmm. it? That's called a pterygoid muscle. That moves your disc between your lower jawbone and your skull around. And when it's always having to brace, it's always taut, it gets tired, it gets sore. Mm -hmm. So that's consistent. So it used to be really tender up here. Nowadays it's more here, you said? Mm -hmm. Right? And it kind of radiates back to the back of your neck. Yes. Okay. All right. Clench together for me. And relax. And open. And clench. And open. And relax. This gives me a quick idea if your muscles are spastic or not, and they are. When they removed your original silver fillings, your headaches kind of got a little bit better. Mm -hmm. It's highly suggested that the bite is at least partly responsible for the headaches. Oh. It makes sense, doesn't it? My whole life. Wow. Well, think about that. Some guy dropped those big old amalgams on you. Mm -hmm. They did nothing to make sure it was done right, because dentistry, we don't do it in general. Almost dentists use is this little ribbon, they'll have you tap on it. Mm -hmm. They'll ask you how it feels while you're numb. You walk out, you might return a week or two later saying it doesn't feel right, then they take this, they mark your bite, and they take a bird to try to adjust things. The reality is the scientific literature has proven this is only accurate about 20% of the time. 20. You had to go back several times. And finally he gave up. Yeah. He got a little bit better, but not right. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah. So when you clench, is it hard? Does it hurt to clench? No, I just, if I do it often, I notice I start to get a headache. Right. That's when I really And where do you feel it. the headache happen? It's right here. Okay. Bite home hard. Rake off to the right and open. Here you are getting ready to swing off to your right. And watch the kite. What's happening is it's rubbing against your back teeth on the right. See those spikes? Mm -hmm. It should be rubbing up here on that one. But there's little mountain tops that your muscles are having to rub across to try to affect that separation of your back teeth. And in addition, the opposite side has got little mountain tops that it have to pull against as well. As a result, the muscles are working too hard. And then all of a sudden they get tense and they get wore out 
and you get myalgia type of symptoms because when a muscle works too hard, it spits out extra lactic acid, just like when you work out too much, you get really sore. Mm -hmm. But then that next day, you typically don't use that muscle group, right? You lay off your, your legs, you won't mm -hmm. work out your legs the second day. But these muscles are essential for life. You have to use them to talk, to chew, to mm -hmm. drink, right? Mm -hmm. So what happens when the body has no choice but to continue using it? Um, See what I'm saying? Yeah. So all of a sudden you've got this chronic pain. Mm -hmm. And there'll be days where it's worse than others because your tolerance for that lactic acid is greater or lesser, depending on the day. Mm -hmm. You may have a day where you use your jaw a whole lot and all your muscles in your body and there's a lot of lactic acid flowing around your bloodstream and you just feel like heck. Then there's a day where you're relaxed and you're not really working out to speak of. You're not running, you're not walking a lot for work or fun. and You're not eating a lot and you feel pretty good. Mm -hmm. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Yes. All right, bite home hard. Break left and open. Beautiful. See, so you're skewed very heavily to your right side in general. Now here you are trying to go left. What should happen is this little kite thing should shoot up towards your canine. But it's running to the back because you've got interferences in the back. You're sitting too high in the bike. And this guy, he's supposed to be firing this muscle, but not that hard. This is intense. See, like, he should be firing about here. It ebbs and flows. He's just working and he relaxes for a second and he works hard and he can't, can't quite get it done. <clears throat> Let's get to work. Yeah, both sides are way too slow. Try binding. How's it feel? Feels good. Really good, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. How sore is that now? Not at all. Like. 100% gone almost? Yeah. Pretty close, huh? Mm -hmm. This side? Almost gone. He's almost gone already, yeah. too? Yeah. Okay. At first, it really hurt. Mm -hmm. and we're what, 15 minutes into this? Yeah. Wow. Well, I was like. That looks pretty good. I mean, it's, I gotta work the other side, but. It's at 0. 0.67 seconds. It's not quite 0. 0.5, but. The fact that your pterygoids are relaxing is a good sign. Right? So was that tooth broke down or something? You wore into it. It was like it's almost like you're showing steel belts. The tires wore off in this one oh, spot. Okay. I was trying to get by without adding, but I have to on that one spot. What's it feel like? Does it hurt at all? Zero, right? Yeah. How oh. cool is that? It's like I rebooted your computer, right? Yeah. Let's check this side. What's this like? That doesn't hurt at all. Like zero? Zero. Now you can the neck and the back. Well, actually, move your neck around. Should feel better. Wow. Is it or not? Yeah, it's so relaxed. Time for a nap. <laughs> all those muscles communicate. Mm -hmm. Neck muscles are accessory muscles of mastication. When you go into an apple, you mm -hmm. kind of do this. The trapezius helps you go down, right? Yeah. And when you move your, you know, your chewing and stuff, your sternoclinomastoid muscles, those have something to do with it. Your digastrics here. Mm -hmm. Remember I was asking in the beginning if this feels tight? Actually, this probably feels different. Does it? This feels relaxed. Right? Mm -hmm. See, it was tense and you didn't even realize it, but now all of a sudden it feels flaccid. It feels loose, mm -hmm. doesn't it? And the cheek muscles, they feel it's just relaxed. Really relaxed, yeah. Does this feel any different? Mm-hmm. I'm sleepy now. <laughs> yep. Here's your cold water. Yeah, yeah, this is just for, just on a scale, you, you, what did you circle earlier? Five. A five out of ten, right? That was about 15 minutes ago. Go ahead and switch with that cold ice water. Wow. Swish it again, make sure. I mean, really swish it around. Do you feel any sensitivity? It's a trip. What do you feel? It's zero, just zero very, ten. very slight. Well, it's supposed to be a little bit, right? Time for a cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Would you say, what, a one? A zero? It, a two? Probably a one. I'm not enough to even bother me. That's, That's remarkable.
I like that. Yeah. Wow. Cat for you. Awesome. I told you to do this. <laughs> so is, does everybody have? Most. Wow. It's profound. Yeah, it's cool. It's a, it's kind of a hybridization of like dentistry and neurology. The trigeminal nerve is the fifth cranial nerve. It has about, of all 12 cranial nerves, about 40% of the input to the brain, central nervous system, I should say, is from that fifth trigeminal nerve. So dentistry, that's where we live. There's three branches of it. And these muscles, or excuse me, these nerves, they don't just innervate the teeth. They innervate the muscles. But no dentist ever talks muscle. How many times have you been talked to Never. by a dentist about muscle? Right. The reality is most of them, they're just looking, you know, like I told you earlier, there's a big forest, the head and neck, and most dentists concentrate on just the center of the forest, and they forget about everything else. Mm -hmm. But what really moves, what breaks teeth? Like you've broken a tooth before, what what do you think happened? Uh, I'm just clenching down too hard. Right. And what lets you clench? How did you, what, what affected the clench? Uh, Muscle. Mm -hmm. So when you walk in or anyone walks into a dental office and they have a broken tooth, typically the dentist is like, oh, that old filling weakened your tooth. The filling broke the tooth or the popcorn did. Or, no, 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 no. The muscle broke the tooth. It may have, the tooth might have been structurally compromised slightly from the filling. Mm -hmm. But the reality is what really caused the damage was the muscle. And many times it's due to hyperactivity of the muscles because there's an imbalance in there. So mm -hmm. the dentist, he just does his job as a technician because sadly that's what they are when they're just doing their job mm -hmm. and they're not thinking about it but what dentist talks muscle most never know this so they just put a crown on that broken tooth and then they break the portion off that crown a few years later or they start breaking other teeth and they just think oh you're getting old and no it's this mm -hmm. you see where i'm going with that I do. It kind of makes sense mm -hmm. right because like I said, when te sensory organs that are teeth talk to brain and say there's an imbalance, brain doesn't like it, so he sends his workers, the muscles, down to even it out, whatever it takes. So it's always cranking out the muscle juice. Wow. I had no idea. So now we've relaxed that. Mm -hmm. We've balanced that out. So neurologically, the input going to the brain is the guy up in the control center looking at his timer. He's happy with that. So he's shutting down the efferent output to the muscle, in other words, back to the body. He says, you don't have to work anymore, guys. So they're shutting down. It's like this overworked engine is now <sighs> getting a breather. That makes sense. Kind of cool. Huh? Mm -hmm. Can't promise, but I'll bet you money your headaches. If it was primary, if this was the only reason, they will be gone. But like I said, headaches are tricky. Sometimes there's one, two, and three, like a secondary and a tertiary reason. Mm -hmm. Could be vascular, could be something else. But if this was just occlusal based, the way teeth relate to teeth mm -hmm. and muscles and brain stuff, like I'm talking, it's going to be gone. So tell me how it's been. How long has it been? A week. One week today. A week ago, we worked on your bike. What's it feel like? Feels like a completely different set of teeth. It's yeah. weird. How so? Um, when you chew? Well, initially I was, you know, trying to get used to these being uh, repaired. Because we bonded your eye teeth, made them a little bit longer. Yes. Right. And once I adjusted that after a couple of days, you know, I, I felt relief in here. In fact, I felt like my jaw was, you know, too relaxed. But it was nice because, you know, I didn't realize I had all that tension up in my jaw. Yeah. And it was just completely kind of hard to describe, isn't it? It is, but it, it's relaxing. So you told me you're sleeping better. Though. I am. Yeah. In fact, my pillow, you know, everything's just... <laughs> 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 I could sleep here. <laughs> and how, are, how are the headaches? I haven't had any. Seriously? It's, it's unbelievable. I, I, you know, I was getting them in here all the time and popping yeah. ibuprofen, like... In a normal week? Regularly. How many headaches would you have had? Probably three, maybe four. Then where were the headaches when they happened in that normal week? Here or down in my neck. Yeah. You know, up, up in here. Does the neck feel looser too? It does, yeah. Yeah. Who'd have thought it, huh? I know. It's really weird. I thought, I'll try it, whatever, you know. <laughs> <laughs> made a difference. A remarkable difference. 